Welcome, my name is Tim, and in this video, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how to properly troubleshoot a faulty high limit switch or aquastat on a gas boiler. Now to begin with, we're gonna turn the system selector switch on the thermostat to the heat position. This will also turn up the temperature setting, ensuring that the thermostat is calling for heat. After each step, click OK on the procedure guide. Next, we're gonna remove the boiler cover, then click OK on the procedure guide, and we're gonna kinda of take a look at what's running and what's not running. So we can see we have no burner operation here. Even though there's a pilot there, the burners are not lit. So we're gonna click no up here. Next, we're gonna verify if the circulator is operating. And in this case, as evidenced by the blue spinning arrows, the circulator pump is operating. Now you can also verify this with a digital clamp on ammeter that's capable of measuring fractional amperage. And you can simply measure the amperage draw at the circulator pump. So our circulator is running, we're gonna click yes. Our next step is to see if the vent damper is open. Now the vent damper is gonna prevent standby loss of heated air up the draft diverter or draft hood on the off cycle. And it should be open if the burner's operating. Now if we look at the shaft of it, we can see it's flat. That indicates that the damper is actually closed and the motor is either uh, not functioning properly or something's breaking power to it. This shaft should be vertical. So is our vent damper open? No. Next, we're gonna take some voltage checks. Now, we're gonna begin by measuring power at the vent damper motor. And we can do this by placing one lead on the blue wire of the relay. This is one side of the vent damper. It's difficult to measure voltage at the vent damper because there's no direct connection. So we're gonna to need to kind of go across it. Click OK, and our next step would be to place the red lead on the red connection at the high limit. And we can see here we have zero volts, but let's take a look at the wiring diagram quickly here. When I open the wiring diagram, we can see that we're measuring at the motor. The red lead's measuring power going to the motor, and of course, the black lead, which is placed on the blue connections at the relay, well, this is the common point. So we have no voltage going to this vent damper motor right now, which means we either have an open high limit switch or a faulty set of relay contacts here between terminals four and six. So let's store the wiring diagram and find out where our culprit is. Now, did we measure 24? No, we measured zero. Next, let's inspect the high limit for any loose connections. So you can rotate it or zoom in if necessary, and it appears all connections are secure, so there's no loose wires. Next, we're gonna measure right across the high limit switch to determine its position. Place your leads directly at the contacts of the high limit. And again, this high limit is in the 24 volt circuit and we measure 24 volts. Before we click yes on the procedure guide, let's open the wiring diagram back up so you can see your leads placed here on the diagram corresponding to the points that they're placed in the circuit. So we're going right across the high limit switch here. Now this means we have a difference in potential across the high limit indicating that it's open. So we're gonna click yes on our procedure guide and we're gonna store the wiring diagram. Now, before replacing the high limit switch, go to the boiler pressure temperature gauge and verify that it's just not off due to temperature. There's a little navigation bar here at the bottom right, click on that and we're gonna to go to the pressure gauge and click on that. And we can zoom in and we can look at the temperature in the boiler. Typically the high limit will cycle back on at 160 degrees and cycle back off at about 180 degrees where this little red marker is. But if we look, the actual temperature in the boiler is down to room temperature. So that means that the burners have not fired for quite some time. And this limit switch should be closed at that point since the temperature is below 160. So now we're gonna go back to the high limit on our navigation bar. And we're gonna click on it to replace it. Replacing the high limit will solve the problem here. Now before leaving the job, just watch one full cycle of burner operation and also go to the residence ensuring that heat is being received at the baseboard radiation here, which it is. And remember, you can always review all the steps in the troubleshooting procedure by clicking this top left icon, which will show each step in order that we just took in diagnosing this faulty high limit switch. Good luck on your future service calls, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. 
You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.